myself. So this is a firm I founded you know, about a little over a year ago. So I left my job as a biotech CEO, wrote these books, traveled the country, decided actually there's a problem to be solved through the market, not through government, through the market, where there's three large asset managers in the United States, BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard. Just those three control about $20 trillion, about as much capital as the US GDP. But they use it to not only invest and provide passive investment exposure to the US market, but also to vote for policies like racial equity audits at Apple and Home Depot, even when the boards of those companies didn't want to adopt them. Scope three emissions caps at companies like Chevron, whose boards did not want to adopt them until majority of shareholders, and I use shareholders in air quotes because they're not the actual capital owners, but they're registered as the shareholders, tell these firms to do. So this is a big problem. So you're going to offer those same kinds of index funds, but with a different shareholder message to the underlying companies, which is to say, get out of politics, focus exclusively on delivering excellence in your products and services, and yes, make money unapologetically by maximizing value for your shareholders in the process. And so that's actually generated a lot of uh, controversy, but also a lot of demand with it. I mean, Strive, I think, crossed over half a billion dollars in AUM just three months after the launch of its first fund. 